you? Are you are you doing it? I always get so nervous right before, like when I don't hear anything from Robert, and I think he's gonna start the recording, but I don't really know. Oh, Matt, what was your question? No, I the the topic of discussion was how could someone physically go about consuming an entire ladder okay well here here's my theory uh, yeah. it it's obviously going to be you know traumatic and a gastrointestinal <laughs> nightmare right <laughs> so so my theory is you got to get it done as fast as possible like you got but like there's no way anyone can force themselves to eat a ladder that fast. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, you're just, like, trying to eat it. You're, like, crying. <laughs> you're like, why am I doing this? I can't stop. So, so, so what I think is you have to get, like, a very, very precise um, – you have to go to a bridge. You have to put the ladder under the bridge, and you have to get, a like, a very precise measurement of bungee cord. And then you, you jump off. You open your mouth as wide as you can. And the ladder goes straight in, and you know, fast as you can. You know, no complaints. Just, just it's, it's there. It's done. You've eaten the ladder. Congratulations, you idiot. <laughs> and, and then you know, you spring back up. You're about you know eight to ten feet taller, depending on the length of the ladder. And you have now set a world record no one should have set. I've just got this like horrible image of. Yeah, he makes it to the ladder, he starts consuming it, but after it passes through his entire body, like, what the Oh, no, 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 the thing you understand, if you eat it that fast, it, it just becomes a part of you. It becomes integral to your, ske to your skeleton. So, ladder like, man. for the rest of your life, you'll be about 12 feet tall and rectangular. <laughs> and everybody's like, how did you get that way? Well, and... That, that is my ladder consumption theory. I believe it is entirely possible, and I will be testing it out this weekend on a hamster. <laughs> I have this odd feeling that, like, to actually eat a ladder, you'd have to open your mouth so wide that your jaw would just, like, collapse in on itself. I was going to go the well, fork okay. <laughs> Well, well, you know, if you if, find if, me a fork if, and knife, at, at, that will cut through steel. Matthew, <laughs> Matthew, 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 Matthew. If you find someone determined enough to eat a ladder, I don't think breaking the jaw is going to set them back. Seconded. That is a good point. Like by that point, they just be like, "Yeah, screw it, cut my mouth open." I, I accept this. It's, it's silly, but just like for just like five seconds, imagine that I was right. I'm imagining. I'm sure the viewers at home are imagining. I'm scared. <laughs> if, if that science worked, what other kooky <laughs> things could we do? <laughs> and then everybody's like, what did you say you were going to do to that turtle? Whoa. Whoa, this <laughs> accelerated fast. <laughs> you leave turtles alone, man. <laughs> you, you leave them turtles alone, you say. Turtles Minecraft friends. Turtles. I'm still trying to think of that one thing about infinite energy. Yeah, it was like, okay, by your logic, I can use a flashlight to to give energy to... <laughs> yes, you, cer you certainly can use a flashlight. By my logic... By my logic, you can certainly use a flashlight. I'm not trying to stop you. <laughs> no, 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 no. By your logic, <laughs> it's just, it's just <laughs> there was such a long point. There's such a long pause. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. I'm trying to spew this idea out like as fast as I can. You can use a flashlight to give energy to a solar panel, which then uses energy, like which then gives the energy back to like a flashlight. So you have infinite energy forever because the thing that you're using to get the energy is giving it energy. I got one even okay. I got one even better. You know those like power bar things that are basically just like a cord with three extra plugs in. Yeah, if you plugged it into itself, is no. this where you're going? We it would just be an infinite loop of energy. If there was energy in it, I once used. Dude, we are so. We we have all the smart. 
Robert, you 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 can't even touch this. Well, that's, like, that, oh, that, that's I, the thing. I have that, an that, idea. No, no, no. That that's how you get electricity into it in the first place. You don't have to add it in. Just when you unplug it, you make sure you pinch the cord so none of it leaks out. Oh, like the internet. Yes, exactly. Oh my god, I get it. It's like <laughs> bad, bad connection. There must be something in your pipes. Yeah. In okay, pipes. Robert, what's your idea? I was gonna go go ahead and say. So basically, you take a funnel. Yeah. And oh, I like you... with anything with a funnel. <laughs> anything with, yeah, anything with a funnel. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's that, could be, that could be taken so wrong. Yeah, anything with a funnel. <laughs> okay, so you take a funnel. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, take a funnel. And then you put like a plastic tube on the bottom of it. And then you Are you talking about a beer bong? No. no, no, no. He, he's talking about if you put a plastic tube in it, the water would just never stop flowing. Yeah, you like connect it to the top of it and you just <laughs> flow. Well, Robert, I have to say that's ridiculous. Let's go back to <laughs> pinching <laughs> off the energy. <laughs> but, good, but, okay, but think about Robert's idea again for a second. Then, <laughs> no, that's not even stupid. That's just true. It's like putting, putting, you put water in a tube and then you close it off to itself. So you've got like a circle, right? Um, yeah. Matt, 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 Matt can, I, can, I, can I just say, like, I know we're joking around, but that doesn't actually work. <laughs> <laughs> it does. No, it does. You don't have infinite water, but the water will always be in the tube. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have infinite water. By your logic, you have infinitely moving water. It's not like you're never going to run out of water. <laughs> if you move water in a circle, it never runs out. It's true. Well, that was kind of my theory, but oh well. Well, you know, what What if you get, you, you get in a car, right? And you yeah. put it in neutral. And okay. you put this really strong-ass magnet on the front. And then you like attach an arm to your car. <laughs> oh my another, god! It would just keep really going. It would just keep ass. going. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The problem is it wouldn't stop. So, and the brakes would just you know get in the way. It, no. That's like that's like the same thing as putting a fan on a sailboat. Oh my god! I didn't even think of that. One. <laughs> that actually, but but guys, that's a real thing. I, I said all the time. Didn't the MythBusters do something about that? No, no, no. What you do is, like, you need a power source. So you get the you get the extension cord. No, you make sure get... you make sure to push off the electricity. Then you plug it back into itself, so it's infinitely flowing. And you plug the fan into that, and you point it towards the sail, and you're gold. Dude, if I just get a bucket of electricity and internet, can I make a computer? I don't see why not. Like, if I just and had a it... bucket of pure energy and pure internet. I don't see why not. Uh, I like it. Hey, careful, Matt, 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 Matt. The internet is care is like really, really dangerous. If you don't distill it. You need to add nine parts water. Nine parts water. Nine parts water. One part internet. I better write that down. Because <laughs> you're gonna forget that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> you know, what would be really like a real what I need to invent. What? Car crashes are awful, right? Yeah. So what we need to make is... Bouncy castles inside No, 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 no. Shut up, that's stupid. <laughs> that's so... That would be so fun. No, no, we need to make it so when two cars collide at sufficient speed, they both get turned into cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> you know, that would be like, no, like, people like cheesecake, but no one wants to really be covered in it. So it would be a deterrent enough. Cause like, if you could crash, yeah, you're perfectly safe and you got a meal, but you're also covered in sticky. Dude, no, but cheesecake would be like a good crash impact softener. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going? Like, it's like squishy enough. That, like, if your car just, uh, upon impact, turned into cheesecake, you'd just be like, well, <laughs> look at me now. I'm in a car made of cheesecake. <laughs> Guys. Or, or were you saying that the car wasn't made out of cheesecake, that your car literally just turned into a cheesecake? 
like the cars collide, <laughs> and then you do the like, two drivers. Oh, no, 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 no. I, 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 like I, a cheesecake, and you're like, "Well, this is awkward." Like this was my like forty seven thousand dollar Mercedes, and no, now no, I've no, got no, a cheesecake. It better be fucking good. No, 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 no. That that that's the thing. Car car prices would plummet. It'd just be like, "Oh, I need to get a two. And I'm going out to the store. I need to get a new car." Okay, I need six eggs. One packet of cream cheese. What? It works in reverse? Yeah, why not? I guess that's a good point. Well, that's the thing. You, you just, like, to get it back going, you need the sufficient velocity. So you just pick up as much cheesecake as you can, run but into it. You have to go wall. in backwards. What? No, no. Right? Right backwards. You should be traveling backwards. No. Yeah, we'd have to go backwards in time. So we'd have to exceed the speed of light. You know, nothing major. Yeah, nothing major. Um, and, like, okay, okay. We've solved, like, half the world's problems. Let's try to figure out how to go faster than light. Um, what you do is you take one of those Halo teleporters, you put one at the... Robert, somewhere. that's ridiculous. That's a video game. We all know video games are... No, 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 true. wait, wait, wait. I, okay, I got it, I got it. You get a spaceship that can go the speed of light. <laughs> and then you put another then, spaceship no, no, that can go the speed no, of light inside no. the spaceship, and then when the spaceship's going to the speed of light, you make the other spaceship go at the speed of light, and then it's traveling faster than the speed of light. No, no, That's no, it. No, no. That's you, it. That's it. I've solved you, it. No, no, I've solved no, no, it. No, no, I've solved no, no, it. No, no, no. You are ridiculous. That is the stupidest answer I've ever heard. What you do is you get a, a ship that goes the speed of light. Then you get them to put the cheesecake car inside a missile tube. And then they fire it straight at Earth. So when you hit an, it, you, when you hit the Earth going faster than light, your car your car turns into cheesecake, so you're fine. And then you're suddenly back in the past. <laughs> sure. Whoa. Whoa. But you forgot to account for the pony constant. All right. The what chance upon that? entering the Earth's atmosphere. So, what, <laughs> what if your problem is you need us to solve in very creative and scientific ways? Um, let's go with world hunger. Oh, that's easy. Uh, you feed the poor to the starving. <laughs> that way you're that way you're solving. <laughs> you, you've just cured poverty. <laughs> you cured poverty like it was a disease, right? Poverty is a disease, right? We all know that. Yeah, yeah. It's a condition, and, you know. Right? Pe people who are hungry obviously have money. Clearly. Clearly, that's how that works. So, that's a condition you, of, of being hungry. You must have money. Yeah, yeah. So when you feed the poor to the starving, all you just have left is people. <laughs> I, yeah. No. Wow. Guys. Guys. Dr. Spencer here. Ed, 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 ed. Professor Spencer. Professor Spencer. <laughs> I, was still, I was still going on Doctor Spencer here. Oh shit! He's got. <laughs> he is. PhD in awesome. Okay, no. Next problem: global warming. Uh, 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 it's called climate change. Thank you. Oh, very seconded. Much. Seconded. Environmental science. Well, actually. Guess what? The Earth's, the Earth's going to solve it itself. The climate's changing anyway. Yeah, but okay, the thing is, the Earth will be fine. Humanity might not be. Yeah, okay, but what happens when all the cars that are turned into cheesecakes melt because the Earth's getting hotter? Okay, okay. Okay, and then you know what happens. It's all the bacteria come and eat the, uh, the cheesecake, right? And then we have... What do bacteria release? Nitrogen or something like that? Dude! Then we have too much nitrogen. Okay, what all if... we have to do is, adju is adjust our breathing to suit towards nitrogen as opposed to oxygen. After all, there's more nitrogen in the air we breathe than oxygen. So, you know, we're getting more for our money. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, is this not obvious? Am I the only one here who has a brain? <laughs> Dude, my brain was, like, destroyed, like, three minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> By <the> cheesecake cars. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sitting there giggling like a little. <laughs> I'm, I'm just—I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs>
I've solved half the world's problems. <laughs> okay, what, what's another? Robert, please come up with another world problem. Wait, wait, wait do we actually solve global warming? Uh, not, oh, not really. I guess we did. Not I really, was just okay, thinking that since the water... Well, well, not... Okay, well, the what thing if is, we just... Thing is, thing is, you, okay, you know um, tectonic drift? Yeah, yeah. That, that's actually controlled by a series of mole people. So what we do is, we get all the places that are getting too hot, and all the places that are getting too cold. And every, like, we change just, them! Yeah, like, you just, like, you have to disconnect them. Because they're just on a series of, like, pulleys and wires. It's actually quite ingenious. And you just move them around. Dude, but what about Obama's thing on the slave trade union for the mole people? What is he doing about that? Um, well, I've spoken to President Obama myself, because, you know, he, he goes he, <laughs> he goes to a 19-year-old Nova Scotian boy for all his problems. Um, and, well, we, we're just gonna, they're just gonna have to deal with that. Like, I, I can't... Because clearly we, we are not, the most not, superior I'm not, race. I'm not, I'm not a miracle worker. I've solved poverty, I've solved car crashes, but I can't solve that. Okay, well, like, uh, I can accept that. You know what really would solve global warming? What? What? Is if we had, like, another Pangea. If all the continents were together. Robert, that's stupid. Everybody knows Pangea doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, you're right. Matthew, of course it exists. I was born there. <laughs> Didn't think of that one, did you, Matt? Along with his three brothers from Madagascar, Sweden, and Norway. The last two were kind of logical. Because Sweden and Norway are the exact same place. Of course they are. Yeah. Yes, sometimes they switch at night. And that's where all the Russians come from. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now there's another world problem. <laughs> God, that, that, okay, that's, not so, that's not really a world problem. <laughs> you know, we're in dire straits because we can't figure out why Russia and Norway... Dude, you're in dire straits? I love those guys. That means you anyway. love Spencer. Yeah, and? Oh, Thanks. oh my. Are you saying that that's a problem? <laughs> Don't get Spencer uh, too excited here, man. Do Dr. Sp Dr. Spencer knew all the answers until he fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next problem. Come on. <laughs> Wait, did we did we, have, did we actually solve global warming? We still haven't yeah, really done it. Yeah, we just moved the Oh, yeah, yeah, we just moved the... Yeah, 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 okay. I was going to say something like water or something like that. Water shortage? Well, that's got to be really easy. Okay, yeah, like, come on, guys. We just... We ask the um, mole people who have advanced shrinking technology to shrink a few brave volunteers down to the size of molecules. And then, then they could rearrange... Yeah, we can take some unused molecules. They can rearrange the protons and the electrons to suit them to make them into uh, hydrogen dioxide. Oh, wait, guys, di dihydrogen oxide. Excuse guys, me. Guys, cartoons have all the answers. You got Why that is nobody too? listening? Why is nobody listening to cartoons? He's a cool guy and everything, right? He may do some stupid things from time to time, but more people should be listening to him. Eh. He's an alcoholic. And he's Wait. raping his... Okay, now I need to solve alcoholism. Drink more. <laughs> yeah, so they'll kill themselves. All the, all the alcoholics just drink themselves to death. Perfect. Hey, know, they, have, them... they have a problem for a reason. Some of them have families. We gotta think of them. Um... Okay, all the families can become alcoholics too. Actually, here's a great solution to that problem. Wait, wait, I got a great solution to get rid of alcoholics, right? Yeah. Alcohol is flammable. <laughs> so we just set all of them on fire? I didn't even need to say it. <laughs> you want to know what? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. We, we, invite, we invite them to the biggest frat party ever. And wait until their like... blood alcohol content literally makes them explode. And just and light crank them. the heat a little bit. Just crank the heat a bit. Uh, but but to counteract that, because, you know, that's going to make a lot of heat and a lot of energy, we're actually going to have to enter nuclear winter. 
but you know, it'll only last about five minutes. Yeah, you know, because we Every, can everyone, everyone, like nuclear, that, winter winter cool. nuclear winter for five minutes. Okay, I'm cool with that. Okay, well, next literally place. unemployment. Unemployment. Oh, you know what? Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> Become a YouTube partner. I don't know. No, that's no. Robert. Everybody knows that you can't make money that way. Except those few who actually do. Yeah. I once watched a YouTube video and he's like, I will sell you my guide to becoming famous on and to make money off of YouTube. And it was a piece of paper and it said luck. Yep. Pretty much. Well, I mean, there is like things you can do to help it, but end of the day, it's luck. It's like, do people like your stuff? Yes or no? I'm gonna go cry now because nobody likes my dog. Spencer, help this poor boy. Okay, there's nothing left for him. <laughs> okay, now my no my most difficult problem yet, Matthew. Well, there's an easy way to fix me, <laughs> but not in that sense. Please don't fix me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just, just like, this has nothing to do with anything, but, um, I was approaching an uncle <laughs> oh, boss. Anything happening? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I am solving some very serious problems, man. You should show some okay, damn respect. Now. Let's see, what's next? How about death? Can I solve death? The easy way or the hard way? <laughs> what do you mean the easy way? <laughs> is there an easy way that you've been keeping the secret to and just tell me? <laughs> well, the easy way is just to erase any fact that death has ever existed. So, like, get, like, those two books that talk about death and just erase the word from it. Wait, two books? You think <laughs> only two books that have yeah. ever talked about death? Yeah, the dictionary and an atlas. Those are the only two books that talk about death. I'm taking this bed. <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> what did you do to my stuff? Wait, it's over here. There you go. It's invisible. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm just blind. Okay. Wait, wait. I think I figured out a way to solve death. Okay. Go for it. Okay, the way the aging process works is that our cells reproduce themselves, but they uh, produce a worn copy. As in, a cell ages and dies, and when it copies itself, it copies the old version and not a completely new version. So the way to counteract death is to somehow create a new version so that the cell re rep uh, replicates itself perfectly, a, a perfect copy, without any degradation, so you never age. So, you get a fax machine. No, 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 I'm done. Like, you, you know, I, I'm serious about my work, man. And you fax me a copy of all your Pokemon cards, and I'll sell them. It is very obviously, it's very obvious that you're trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny. No, I just want your Pokemon cards. No, like what you do is you just photocopy each individual cell, show it a picture, and, just, and it'll just go, oh, shit, I've been doing this the wrong way for ever. Oh, so that's what I look like. Oh, God, is my ass that big? <laughs> I guess the cell is really worried about its looks. They're very self-conscious. Okay, what's – oh, I think – the next one, I'm not sure if I can solve. It's, gonna, it's the hardest problem faced by humanity. Okay, go. When you're at a point where you're too tired to eat, but you're too hungry too to sleep. To sleep. I just, ugh, it, gives, it gives me chills, man. There's such a thing? Yeah. What? There's such, There's a such a, Robert, there is such a thing as too tired <laughs> to eat. Well, I mean, unless you're just, like, constantly eating, so you've never known hunger. <laughs> You're just, like, munching on some crackers while you're snoring. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you you've trained yourself to eat in your sleep. <laughs> That's a skill right there. I'd be impressed. <laughs> what if like just an alien race came to Earth? And you and said so, every, every single human will get one random superpower, and that's what you got. <laughs> one Would you random. be happy? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. <laughs> you could just fall asleep. You could just fall asleep in a donut shop, wake up, and it's all gone. And just go. Oh, sorry, I was asleep. But like, ow, Matt, what I think I do. Did you blow up my house? I was in a tree, and a creeper attacked me. Oh. oh shit. Um, back on to the sleeping while eating thing, or eating. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Um. Yeah, that's a good question. That that's one question. Which <laughs> what what are you doing? Are you asleep? Do you fall asleep eating, or do you eat while you're falling asleep? Like kind of thing. But the actual question is: Is part of the superpower like a really good metabolism? Or do you just put on all that weight that you can't control while you're sleeping? Actually, um, what happens is when you eat it, there's actually a portal in your throat that goes to the aether. And? That's it. It just goes to the aether. And you don't, <laughs> like, it, it, gives you, it gives you the nutrients. It gives you enough to survive. And then it's just like you can constantly eat without having to worry. So this would be the man who can eat the ladder. <laughs> I like it. Only if he has a bungee cord. <laughs> Spencer! Spencer! <laughs> I'm starving. Feed me some more people. <laughs>